Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Chani, Sanbona, Dumelang, Absheni. Hello, Bonjour, Amaste, or oh, Namaste. Yes, something like that. Uh, I'm very happy today that I'm going to teach you Isindebele, and then I am very ecstatic that there are many people who want to learn this particular language, but they don't know how to because there are people who don't know how to teach it or they clearly don't teach the actual one so today it's a lucky day uh, if you tell you this video please subscribe immediately and then like uh, uh, and then share this information because it's for everyone i'm not uh, a stereotype or whatever bias i want everyone to learn this in the belly because we are struggling out there we can't speak our own languages to other people but you can speak their language come on people you speak french but you don't know uh, it's in the belly so okay Let's go there. Um, it's in the village tutorial. It's in the village. Some umbrella. It's in the Lego. I I hope some people some people are lost already. So this word right here, this word right here, these these words they actually mean this one. Pure devil. I'm going to teach you pure devil. So yay! I'm excited, people. Please, please, please subscribe there. Give me a motivation so that I can continue to teach you, teach you this language because it is very interesting and it's very broad. So this is a symbol of his devil, according to me. Uh, anyone can have their own symbol. I uh, it doesn't matter as long as you have something like. A uh, drawing this kind of art we call it umqualo we call it umqualo so this kind of art is the one that you can say it represents is in the belly and then i'm happy because people are starting to learn uh how to wear like the belly uh, traditional people and stuff so yay the introduction i'm happy let's start in is in the in this tutorial I'm going to teach you the milk type basics of is in the belly like routine and well-being of people plus the titles of uh, people in Isindebele. The importance of basics is in Isindebele is that you must be able to speak it properly, like when you're learning English and learn try to sound like English speaking people. So it is the same with Isindebele. In Isindebele, it is Isindebele is it is one of the eleven official languages in SA, uh, in South Africa. So many people want to learn it and also the culture and or tradition. The purpose and aim is to teach people this in the belly, samambala, samambala, the pure de belly, meaning pure de belly that we, uh, uh, that I'm going to teach you, that we, we, we the belly people speak, okay? My, I'm very uh, quick, I'm excited, I, I'm never said the same time. <laughs> so uh, bear with me, people. So let's begin, guys, as Tomeni. Uh, Tomeni, that's the belly, that's how we say in the belly, as Tomeni, let's begin. Um, we're going to start with the greetings. So in English, we usually say hello or hi. In in English, we say hello or hi. But in this level, we're going to say lochani namka locha. So this namka right here means or. So it's going to be lochani or locha. You understand what I'm saying? Say it. Say it with me. Lochani namka locha. That's in the belly, pure. You already got it if you can sound like I sound right now. So, Lochani means uh, hello in English uh, or hi. So, Lochani it can be used in many ways. Um, you're going to say Lochani to a crowd or group of people. Or you can go, you're going to say Lochani when you're greeting an elderly person only. In a group and elderly people, only when you're going to say Lochani. And I know you're going to say Locha, it's either going to greet your peer or an individual, if you feel like greeting them. They mean that way, Lochani. Um, an individual or your peer, because you're going to say Locha to an elderly person. That sounds like a disrespect. So, how are you doing, Unjani? How are you doing, Unjani? Say it with me, Unjani. That's it, Unjani. That's it. So, I'm good, thanks, and how are you? Gerehe wena unjani or givuki givugile wena unjan. That's it. You sound like I sound and then you're going to get it. Givugile wena unjan. That's it. When you say givukile, you're going to sound onga and then you start uh, contradicting these two because they don't mix. True. Then uh, I'm well thanks. I am well thanks. 
gerehe we naunjan. So there are parts that sound Africans there and there. So that's true. Gerehe me it it has Africans in it that rehe. It means rehe in Africans. So you will have to understand that our old elderly people were speaking Africans mixed with East Indian and then they became one. They they created a fusion of East Indian and Africans and also paid inside. So there are words that are going that are going to sound Debele there and they. I mean uh, Africans. So don't be confused. Don't get uh confused uh say that you don't know how language this is what you speak also so i am well thanks i'm well thanks how is your morning or day straight out just like i sound how did you sleep that's it are you okay Gyatogoza, thank you. Gyatogoza, thank you. Gyatogoza, thank you. That's it. Don't don't try to sound English while you're speaking our uh the the Ndebele language because you're going to contradict other people. Other people are not happy with people misusing their language or mis talking. You no, know, it's so much disrespect. Imagine if you're white and then somebody's trying to speak white language and then you know you're going to be like, oh okay, they are trying at least. But some people will be like, I know. English and then boom the person speaks something else so sorry about that I'm just excited people uh, bear with me <laughs> so uh, titles again a father in Isindebele Ubaba a father Ubaba a mother Umma that's how they speak Umma some others that say Umama but Mama doesn't exist in Isindebele we say Umma and then grandmother is Ukoko Ukoko a grandmother is Ukoko. And then a grandfather is Ubamkulu. Ubamkulu. So others are saying Umkulu. That's a shortened word of Ubamkulu. And then it's inappropriate in Isindebe. You're going to say, you have to say Ubamkulu if you want to speak Isindebe. And then sister is Utatuetu or Utate. Utatuetu or Utate. And then brother is Umfuetu. Just like Zulu. And then child is Umdoana. Almost like Zulu, but you, you're gonna say, oh, you're gonna have to say Umdoana, not um, Umtoana. No, Umtoana doesn't exist in Sinebele. You're going to say Umdoana. Sound the belly, people. Sound the belly. Come on. All right. So, other titles. Uh, a boy is Umsana. A boy is Umsana. A girl is Umdazana. A young man is Isogana. Understand? A young man is Isogana. A little girl is umdazinyana. A little boy is umsanyana. And then son-in-law is umkwenyana. And then a daughter-in-law is umalukazana or umakoti. And then most people you prefer using umakoti, but umakoti is somewhere somewhere related to Zulu. So we usually say umalukazana instead of umakoti. And then we're going to say uh, in English is father-in-law. But in this nebel, you're going to say Ubaba Zala or Ususogana. And then the in laws, Bebkweni or Ebukweni. The mother in law is Umama Zala or Unusogana. And then the sister in law is Umharibo. Uh, the brother in law is also Umharibo, the same thing. And then great grandfather or dad is Ikeku. Ikeku, not Ikeku, but Ikeku. Your tongue has to see ka, 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 like the watch. Ka, ka. Yes. And then great grandmother is Isilukazi. Isilukazi. Yo, that one is very old. Yeah, they shrink even the gray hair and stuff. <laughs> so neighbor is Umakeluan. And then we're going to the last titles. Woo! Almost done. Uncle is Umalume and uncle is Umalume and then uncle's wife is Umkamalume. There is no Malumegas in Snebele. We are going to say Umkamalume. Malumegas is Zulu or I don't know, maybe Siswati if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, somewhere there. But in Snebele only, we're going to say Umkamalume or Umgamalume. So that's Snebele there. And then man is Indota. And then Umfaz is a, a woman. A woman, it's umfazi, just like other languages, uh, Nguni languages. And then, aunt from Patina. This is the part that I wanted to emphasize most because people make mistakes when they, when it comes to this part. So, in Isindebele, we don't say 
uanti. No, we don't have uanti. Oh, mam nani, oh, mam ku. No, we don't have that. We have uhari or uhulu. That's in the way right there. You have to sound aggressive somewhere. <laughs> so, uhari or uhulu. So, uhari refers to uh, your mother's sister who's younger than your mom. Your mother's sister who's younger. And then uhulu is your mother's sister who is older than your mom. You understand? From the, uh, oh, sorry. I mean, uhari is, uhari is from the partner side. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, it's from partner's side. Ukhari is your young, is the younger sister of your father. And then Umani, it is your younger sister from your mother, your mother's side. So Ukhulu, it refers to both the sisters who are older than your mom or dad. That's it. Ukhulu, it refers to both sisters who is your, who is uh, older than your mom or dad. And then Ukhari refers to your sister, a sister of your father who is younger than your father. And then Umani, it refers to uh, your uh, your mom's sister who is younger than her. That's it. Younger. Ukhari, mani, young. Then, father's brother. Yes, this is uh, where most com more conflict will arise, I know. And also the own Ukhari and Umani. So, your father's brother is Usongwana or Usokulu or Ubaba. So, but the actual word that it, mu it must be used actually from the beginning is Ubaba. Because you cannot separate your brother's father and your father. Because that's how we were raised and we were taught that you cannot separate them. They are both your father. Understand? Just like your mom. You go, you cannot say umani or whatever. Most of the time you have to say mama. Because you are showing respect to them. So ubaba it was supposed to be used from the beginning. And it is the appropriate one. But then since uh, Debele evolved. Some people used to say usohul. Usohul it refers to... Um, the older brother of your father and then usongwana that refers to a younger brother of your your, your father so usongwana usohulu ubaba those are the words that are appropriate in this nebula to use not to i usually hear people say something like that but not in the or I don't know those language. I don't want to like entertain them because people, please, if you want to speak this Nebel, you have to sound Nebel and you have to learn Nebel, the pure one, straight out. And then we are done. We are done. And then uh, for the reason that I, I ended so quick is that I want people to get attracted and understand that we are going to speak pure Nebel. So if you really want to learn this language, please subscribe down there and click the notification button. If you don't understand a question, ask in the comments or follow me on social media. Um, I'm going to leave my, uh, my Instagram and then my Facebook and also my uh, Twitter account so that you can contact me anytime you want. Okay, not anytime you want because... Um, I am I'm busy. <laughs> All right. So to be continued, uh, be the basics is very important. It's very broad. So some of them you will learn them along the way because this language, this is language and it's, it is diverse, obviously, just like English. There are many people, there are many people who modify it or dilute it. So obviously there will be di di differences just like in English and other languages. This will this must help you with the foundation if you want to know how to speak is in the belly properly and the pure one. Again, there are people who are in the belly speaking but don't know how to speak is in the belly. Yes, it's that, that those circumstances do come. We know people who are in the belly. A person is from Kwamashlango but doesn't know is in the belly. Uh, or you are an uh, an ignorant. Sorry to write this here. You are an ignorant. You want to learn other languages. Please, you are welcome to learn this language because it's for everyone. You are welcome to learn it and it's free. I don't touch you anything. I don't have to teach you in a course like thing. And then um, you are under Mguni tribe and you want to under, you know all these Nguni languages. Or worse, you are a tourist. You want to learn South African languages and you are you bumped into this video. Please continue watching it. Uh, I'd be very happy if I hear somebody from United States speaking Isindebele, the pure one. I'd be very, very happy. It is for everyone. It is for everyone. It is for everyone. It's not for only South Africans or Ndebele people. It's for everyone. Even if you're in China, Korea, whatever. Please, guys, learn this language. It's very important to know other languages. You, a, a very attractive person is the person who is multilingual, if you ask me. So, other than that, people, I'm very happy. And then, please, 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 subscribe, like, share, and then comment below. 
please uh, invite some people to this page to this uh, channel so that they can then listen to the video. So other than that, I said mouthful. Thank you very much. Peace.